Welcome. Today we are going to take a look at the Spinner's Garment set which gives us 4k spell penetration and the Spriggan's Form set which gives us 4k physical penetration. I've got a lot of questions whether those sets are useful or not. Well, let's find out. So let's take a look at this Excel sheet. There is a lot of numbers, I know. Now, whether you PvE or PvP, sometimes the sets are actually really useful and sometimes not. Now, let's just take an example. Let's take a boss in PvE that has 18k spell resistance. Most bosses have around 80k resistance anyway. Now, we have, a we have like sharpened weapons which give us spell penetration. We have a light armor passive which gives us spell penetration. We have major breach which we can get from elemental drain and pierce armor. So those three buffs are permanently on the boss at all times basically. So we sit at already 15.3k spell penetration. So basically only 2.7k is missing. Now if you play in a group you have the crusher enchantment. This is up about 50% of the time and then you have Alkosh which is up around 60 to 80%. If you add those two, uh, two together like to the others we are already at 20k penetration. Is spinners useful then? No it's not because we cannot get below 0%. If you play solo and you don't have Alkosh, you don't have Crusher or maybe you even don't have Major Breach, spinners is really strong. So if we calculate all those things together, we could actually reach 24k spell penetration if you have all those things. Now, in PvP, most people run around in heavy armor anyway, so they have between 20 to 30k spell resistance. So spinners is actually a really strong set. But keep in mind, shielded enemies, shields have zero resistances. So spinners will not be helpful at all, but then... Most fucking people run around in stamina anyway these days, so whatever. So again, solo PV, really good. Group PvP, not so useful. PvP, really strong, I would say. Now, medium armor, so basically, same thing, 18k physical resistance on the boss, uh, ab approximately. We have sharpened weapons, mage fracture, which we get from pierce armor and noxious breath. And let's say we are wearing the crowd monster set, which gives another 2k penetration. Well, you should be wearing it because it's fucking OP. Now, those three things give us a permanent spe a physical penetration of like 12.4k, right? So we still kind of miss 5.6k physical penetration. Now... If you add Crusher Enchantment and Alkosh to that, we sit at like 17k physical penetration, which is really good. Now, again, Crusher and Alkosh are not up at all times, so if you have several stem boys in the group, somebody should wear Night Mother's Gaze, and if you have an off tank, that should wear like Thunder Flame. Thunder Flame is 2.4k, Night Mother's Gaze is 2.5k, right? So Thunder Flame is easy to apply to one target. Night Mother's Gaze, it's easy to apply to a ton of targets, right? So with Night Mother's Gaze and Thunder Flame, with all those previous buffs, we already see the 23k physical penetration. It's too much, right? But then keep in mind, Crusher and Alkosh are not up at all times. So we would sit at like 19k permanently. So you really need to decide what kind of buffs and debuffs you have. Now, there is also the Spriggan set which would give us another 4k. So in total we could get like 27k physical penetration. Now, of course alone you can't reach that, right? But in a group, Spriggan is useless because you already are at zero like re physical resistance on the boss. Now, in solo play or PvP, Spriggan again is really strong. Because you will not reach 18k physical penetration with only sharpened Major Fracture and Krog, right? And Crusher, it's not enough. You don't get there. Then you still could wear like Night Mother's Gaze and Spriggan or Sun's Flames and Spriggan and you would actually reach around 18k penetration. So, that's just the thought behind those two sets again if you play in a group pv wise not that strong if 
play solo PvE like and PvP, the sets are actually really freaking good. Just remember, people with shields don't get extra damage from those. Because shields have zero resistance. Now, one last thing. I haven't tested that recently, but if I remember correctly, like 650 resistance is about 1% damage mitigation. So every time you reduce the enemy's resistance by 650, you gain 1% damage, right? That's about how you should calculate it. If somebody knows if those calculation has changed, please let me know. I hope I didn't forget any set or stuff that could reduce the resistance any further, but that should give you a clear oversight on how like penetration works and what buffs, debuffs and sets you have which you can use to reduce the resistances of bosses or people. Anyway, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Cheers.